Well, hello. It has been quite some time since I have shown my face here on YouTube. Um, I think the last time I shared a video was like right when we were moving um, up to London last summer. So it's currently August of 2021 and I think my last video went up in like July of 2021. So to catch you up, if you only follow me on YouTube, um, I kind of took a step back from YouTube. Not that I like had like this massive presence on YouTube um, because it was only just something that I started to dip my toe into at the beginning of 2020. Um, but the last year, year and a half, honestly, has been so interesting and different for me. Right after we moved into our place in London, it was a big two bedroom, um, tons of storage, like beautiful old features, but updated, it had a garden. Um, I spent that first week that we were in London, like getting everything ready to get my dogs over. We got them over, it was amazing. Um, and then I just started realizing that I felt really off and turns out I was pregnant. <laughs> so, um, I spent, you know, a good majority of that year in um, our house in London pregnant, growing our little baby boy. Um, the very beginning of pregnancy, I had absolutely no energy. I could not get enough sleep. And then, yeah, we, life was just has just been a bit different and weird. And I feel like this season of life is really calling for me to kind of take a step back, slow things down, go inward. I feel like I'm doing a lot of self-discovery, really getting to know myself a lot better so that I can really be my best self here in the spaces that I occupy on social media. Um, and yeah, so um, that's been really challenging in so many ways because I am someone who's like, no, <laughs> let's do things, let's get things done, let's share, like I love to share. And so I think um, this season has been challenging in a lot of ways, but John has been my rock. It's, I'm so thankful to have had him by my side through this whole thing. Um, I'm still going through it, still kind of figuring out like what's next. Where are we going to go? We've moved back down to Fleet um, after living in London for a year. We need more space. Um, living in that house in London kind of taught us that John really needs his own space for work and I need mine um, because a lot of times um, when I was feeling up to like, you know, filming or doing something, um, a lot of my wardrobe stuff was in the room that he was using for his work. Um, but he didn't have any other room to go to to work. So we really need our own spaces for work. Um, and then obviously we have Louis, so he needs a, Louis is our son. He was born in March. Um, and he is just the light of our lives. He's the sweetest and cutest thing ever. Um, and so yeah, we are really looking forward to what's next for us. And um, I'm really looking forward to hopefully feeling a little lighter. I'm not gonna lie, um, being in a small space with you know, your partner and a baby and trying to get back to some sort of routine has been challenging for me. Um, although I'm very thankful that we have this space, obviously. Um, we did find a place to move right after our um, lease was up in London, but that place fell through at the very last minute. It was very unfortunate, really annoying. Um, but I know it was for a reason, so we will find the perfect place for us at just the right time. Um, and so yeah, today I just had this like, just this feeling. I'm like, I wanna get back to it. I wanna, I wanna share more. I'm going up to London today, um, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. Um, and um, we are going, uh, I'm coming back down here tonight, but then tomorrow John and I and Louie are going up to London for the weekend. So I thought I would do a little vlog and share um, just some day-to-day -day stuff. Um, and then I would love to eventually do more like um, style-based content, um, share like what's new in my wardrobe and things like that. So if you are not already, please subscribe to this channel. I, um, I do hope to get back to sharing um, some really fun content with you guys. So today, um, I'm just getting myself ready to go up to um, catch up with my friend Victoria. If you are not familiar with her, if you haven't followed me for very long, Victoria is one of my very good longtime friends um, that I met back in 2016 when I was living in London for like a short stint. And she um, is a photographer and has taken so many stunning, amazing pictures for my blog. Um, I'll put some over here so you can take a look. Um, she's so incredibly talented and the funniest person 
I know and from the moment I met her I was like we are going to be really good friends you just know we just clicked we never stopped talking when we we're together and laughing so I'm really looking forward to today before I go up to London John and I and Louie are going to visit a property um, to see if it's a property that might work for us so I'm gonna bring you guys along um, I do think Louie is starting to wake up from his nap so I'm gonna go check on him but yeah I will bring you guys along on today's adventure A little clip of John and I trying to get his diaper bag ready and me putting some of his clothes away. Uh, Louie and I are sharing this chest of drawers while we're living here and um, this is my closet. <laughs> it's um, packed full of some new autumn arrivals um, which I did share on my Insta stories so be sure to check out my Instagram. I'll put the little handle here if you're wanting to see um, some fall fashion, some new arrivals, things are available now. Um, I want to do those more here on um, YouTube, but being that I already did it on Instagram, I'm going to send you guys there, but I don't know if there are any other moms watching, but how impossible is it to keep the littles drawers organized? I find it to be so hard, especially as they get bigger. I feel like he's completely, his stuff is like too wide for the little organizers that I bought, but you know. <laughs> In general, I think we all just do our best. Um, but yeah. Alright, I think I do hear him now. He wasn't quite awake when I thought I heard him earlier, so I'm gonna go grab him. changed and he's hanging out with John while I finish just getting my stuff together so we're going to view this property um, it's just outside of London it's a quick train ride into London so I'm gonna view the property with John and then he's gonna drop me off at the train station that's right near the house and I'm gonna go uh, meet up with Victoria but um, I'm getting my tote ready for the day. I do have to do a little bit of work in our, um, we're getting massages today. We're going to a spa. Um, and while she's in her um, treatment, I'm gonna kind of get some work done. So I've got my laptop, um, my camera stuff. Um, I still love these truffle bags. Although I do think Amazon has these amazing truffle-like bags um, on Amazon. So if I can find them, I'll put the link down in the description box. Um, and then yeah, I have tons of like little bits that I need to kind of put together in a little um, pouch. I found this old Kate Spade one that I have. I've got my Equilibria CBD drops and then I've got a few different um, nude lip colors and lip glosses and then I've got my AirPods. I just, I don't like everything kind of floating around on their own. So I also have my little card case and Sunnies. So yeah, I'm gonna get all of that in here. Bring a little hair tie. Always need one of those. And yeah, I think other than my phone, that is all I need for today. One thing about this tote is that it's not necessarily like really wide. I feel like maybe that is a downside to this one, but I am really um, happy with this purchase because it is one that I have been eyeing for quite some time. Um, so today is its first day out. 
So I might do like a blog post kind of reviewing this purse. Um, I feel like you guys usually love those kind of posts on the blog if you are a blog reader of mine and have followed me for a while. Um, so maybe as um, the next couple of months go on and I've used it for a bit, I'll do that maybe closer to the holidays. But anyways, it is time for us to go. I need to put my shoes on and head out the door. All right, we are en route to this viewing. Um, it's just outside of London, so it's about a half an hour from us uh, where we're living now. And it's about a 20, 25 minute train journey into London, which is not bad at all. Um, and John is super familiar with the area and said it's really great, right? Yeah, it is good, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so we're really looking forward to checking it out. It's a four bedroom. Um, so we're basically looking for a house for a family. Um, it has a really good feel to it. We're looking, I would love a four bedroom, but we are looking at three bedrooms as well. Um, a three bedroom that has like an extra space where John can kind of put his, his desk and do his work and kind of be closed off from the other parts of the house because I, I've been learning that like it is impossible for me to do my job um, and I don't need to do it exactly the way that I did it before like I'm happy to kind of be a little bit flexible and like how much I put out it's totally fine but I definitely am not really able to even like fully focus on work with Louie and I don't know if that's just I'm just a newbie <laughs> I just need to figure out how to do it but um, I've just taken advantage of this time and like soaked up all of this like newborn time and all of that. But when we do, ha when we are in our next place, um, I want to have a little bit of help, maybe three days a week, um, so that I can have that dedicated, focused work time. Um, and then John's gonna take. You said you're gonna like potentially do like Wednesdays with Louie, and I'll do Fridays with Louie. So, um, so yeah, in the home that we're gonna live, I really want a space for um, that person, whoever it is, to. Um, have places to play with Louie. So Louie's room probably won't be very big, but I do hope that we have like a space where we can have a bit of a play area um, without it impeding on John's calls. Um, because with what I do, I definitely need like a room and extra space and um, things like that. So, um, and John really just needs somewhere to put his desk. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's what we're hoping for. A three bedroom with some like, kind of like a hideaway place for John to kind of do his calls or a four bedroom where like that fourth bedroom is for John. So yeah, this one has a lot um, going for it. They love dogs, they have a garden or a backyard, um, which we feel like we've lost out on some really good ones or like haven't even been considered because of the dogs. Um, we found this one that was amazing, really cool. Um, actually not anywhere close to London, but just a beautiful property and well under our budget and looked so beautiful, like brand new. Um, but they wouldn't consider us because we had a small child because the stairs were really steep. And so anyway, um, we feel like we've kind of like been hitting a bunch of walls, but um, I think this one seems to have a nice feel. So I'm really, really, really hopeful that this one could potentially work out for us. I'm not sure how <laughs> nice those uh, clips were um, of the property. Um, I was trying to kind of be discreet, <laughs> but also take some clips for you guys uh, without being weird. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure how much you saw, but I, it's actually a three bedroom, I forgot. I feel like I look at so many properties like on my 
Right Move app that I can never really remember, but. So it's a three bed and every bedroom has its own like ensuite bathroom and two of the bedrooms have an actual like walk-in wardrobe, which is unheard of here. Um, and so, yeah, it was honestly so many things that we've been looking for and I think it would work really well for us. Of course, the estate agents uh, or a state agent that was there um, made sure that he <laughs> that it was known that there are 15 people coming to view it tomorrow so this is like exclusive access that you guys are getting um, if you're an estate agent please don't be that person <laughs> um, anyways so yeah um, the downer was at the end the um, landlord was actually there and he was really really nice um, but I asked as we were leaving, I was like, oh, hey, by the way, like, um, are you guys okay with pets? And I was just confirming because um, we had already asked if dogs were okay, the landlord was cool with that, um, because we don't wanna waste our time and go view a property if dogs are not allowed, being that we have two. Um, and they were like, oh yeah, no problem, there's nothing on the you know listing here that says that no dogs are allowed. Well, anyway, after I asked him that, the landlord immediately kind of just got a bit weird and was like, uh, I mean, we'll think about it. And I was like, okay, this is, it's just frustrating. I think like what we're looking for and the types of spec we're looking for, maybe we're a bit like we're asking for too much, I guess, but I think um, the places that we go after tend to be highly sought after and you know, good areas and um, there are lots of people going for them and so it kind of puts us down on like the desirability list um, and so it makes us a little less desirable I think um, to landlords whenever we do make offers um, when they see that we do have two dogs um, so it's just really frustrating and I think I'm gonna have to get a little bit um, not sassy, but like just be a little bit more assertive when I do make these appointments because we've been really selective about the places that we go and view. Um, we really don't want to waste our time because every single time we go and view a place, we're going like well outside of where we live to go and view them. Um, and then to have that kind of experience is just <sighs> frustrating because one, I know that place would be so great for us. And two, like I know that he's probably not going to accept an offer from us, even if it's a good one yeah, because we have dogs, which was the same thing that happened when we made the offer in Windsor so anyway waiting for the train to go into London now so let's go all right so I'm waiting for Victoria um, we are both getting um, massages today at Linnaean which is a um, it's like a cafe slash spa slash hair place. I don't really know exactly how to explain it, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, John and I, a few weeks ago when we took Louie to his U.S. Embassy appointment, we were looking for a place um, to grab some lunch afterwards, and this was like the highly, or the highest rated place in the area. So I was like, let's just try this place, and it turned out to be such a beautiful spot. Um, and I, it was like nearly empty, so I didn't even think when I booked our spa experience today um, to even like book a table for us to grab a coffee or some lunch before. So I walked in, it was like packed. I was like, oh, um, it's also bank holiday weekend, so I should have known. But um, yeah, so I'm sat outside waiting for Victoria. Hello. So yeah, I just ordered a, an oat milk latte, and he was, um, my server was like. I was telling him how the last time I was here is like basically empty, so I was so surprised to see it so busy. And he was like, oh, were you here on a Friday? And he was like, no, you weren't. <laughs> I was like, okay, so Fridays, I guess, are like a really buzzy, uh, busy time for them. So just a heads up if you are in London and wanting to check out Linnaean. I'm gonna try and get a few little video clips so you can see inside. It is so beautiful. Uh, one of my favorite color combos is pink and green. And so this place is literally like pink and green threw up everywhere. And so I'm like, <sighs> looking at it with all the hard eyes. So anyways, I'm so excited about getting a massage today because it has been almost a year since I've gotten a massage, um, just with our lockdowns and things like that. Um, oh, milk latte, <laughs> thank you. Um, it's been like since, yeah, last October that I've gotten a massage. So I am in desperate need of some, some love. 
and I'm really, really pumped. Um, and I've heard that their spa experiences are amazing here. So yeah, I'm just waiting for Victoria now and gonna enjoy a little latte until she comes. Okay, so it is now the next day. I literally kicked myself as I left Linnean yesterday because I totally was not even thinking about like my camera or this vlog at all when I was called up to go to my massage. I would have loved to have like done like a little pan over of like the overall ambiance of like the room and it was just stunning. I also went to the bathroom before my massage and the, the bathroom was decorated so beautifully. Like there's just so much to love about Linnean, but the massage, so my masseuse, her name was Sheena and I swear she is deeply spiritual. I could just sense that based on the type of um, massage she gave me. It was very traditional but untraditional aspects to it. Um, like she used chimes and um, she, I think she must do some sort of breath work also used crystals so it was very interesting a very different experience and she overall like I could tell she like read my energy she's like you have incredible energy and I was like thank you <laughs> it was really cool uh, she was so sweet I definitely am gonna go back to her um, because it was overall like an amazing um, experience massage Victoria said the same thing she went before me and she was like oh my god that was incredible um, so yeah we ha overall had such a great time catching up and um, getting pampered for a bit um, and then yeah we are actually in the car now John is running um, a quick errand I'm in the car with Louie and we are packed to the brim we i was trying to like not bring as much stuff as we did to the cotswolds for louis but and honestly we don't have as much stuff to be fair but it does still feel like it based on what you're seeing back here but anyways we are spending the next couple of days in london um john had some work stuff he had to do today or else we would have gone up yesterday or like john would have come up with louis and then i would have kind of gone to where we're staying we're staying at my friend kate um and park's house we met up with them last weekend for a little sunday roast at the ned um and they're away in the cotswolds this weekend so they're like why don't you stay at our house and like have like a london staycation i was like yes definitely um and I was like, yes, definitely. So we are doing that, um, at least just for the next two days. Um, Monday is a bank holiday, um, so that's bank holiday weekend. We were initially gonna go down to Cornwall because tomorrow is actually John's mom's birthday. Um, but she was like, do not come down here. It's gonna be crazy with traffic, inundated with tourists, so do not come. Um, so we are actually gonna spoil her with a really fun weekend. Um, I think after we get settled, maybe closer to the holidays, we have some really fun plans for her, um, just so that she gets spoiled. Um, but yeah, overall, I just wanted to catch you guys up. I'm gonna take you guys along on what we get up to while we're in London. Um, and yeah, that's really it. Oh, actually, mm, 
do I want to tell that story? Um, and yeah, that's really it. So, um, just wanted to, but yeah, that's really it. I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up on yesterday, how it went. Highly recommend Linnaean if you are visiting Lon London anytime soon or um, are local to London. Um, it's incredible. It's in Vauxhall. Um, it's kind of, you know, there's not really a, a ton going on over there other than like there's tons of high rises and like apartments and stuff, but, um, but yeah. Or if there are some really great places in Vauxhall that I'm just not aware of, definitely leave them in the comments below. I would love to um, check those out. So yeah, let's head up to London. cleaned up as quick as we could um, and we are heading to my friend Sarah's house um, you probably saw from that clip that I was wrapping a present her daughter's birthday was back in July like the weekend that we moved they had a little get-together for her and I wasn't able to make it so bringing her gift now I'm gonna enjoy some drinks on the rooftop I think and then a really yummy dinner so bring you guys along the next day um, I just showed you clips of this morning's brunch we went to this really great place in st. John's Wood called Sotine I'm not sure I'm saying that right it's French so if I'm saying it wrong and you can tell me how to say it leave it in the comments below um, but yeah we were a bit sluggish today um, after a really fun night with Sarah and Ian our friends um, last night Ian is very passionate about wine so he has an amazing collection and so we had a little bit too much wine, I think. <laughs> but overall, a really good time with them. And um, we're just heading off on a little walk. And then we're gonna grab some dinner um, in along the St. John's Wood like High Street area. That's where we're staying for the weekend. Not sure if I said that, but it's a really, really beautiful, quiet, quaint little area with lots of cute little shops and restaurants. So let's go. So it is now Tuesday, the day after Bank Holiday Monday. Um, I was gonna vlog yesterday, but honestly, it was not very exciting. Um, we ended up having a really low-key weekend after we um, enjoyed some time with Sarah and Ian. Um, that next day, we were feeling a bit rough, like I had mentioned, so we just kind of took it easy, recharged a bit, um, watched, um, oh, what did we watch on Netflix that was actually really good? I'd never seen this movie with um, Hugh Grant and Sarah Jessica Parker. So, oh, I'll have to write it here on the screen because I can't remember it, but it was actually, it was really like cheesy um, and silly, but I just love Hugh Grant. I think he is so funny. Um, he always plays like the same character in like every movie, but I don't know, this one was really funny. Um, so yeah, we just watched a movie and um, ended up going to bed and then headed out 
um, yesterday morning. So anyways, I just wanted to give this vlog a formal um, exit or a formal ending um, because yeah, I didn't vlog at all yesterday and I think that is it for this vlog, but do stay tuned because, um, I don't know how much I'll film this week. I do have a few things that are going to be happening, um, but I might not fuss over vlogging because I do have to kind of wrap my mind around all the things that I need to pack and get ready for me and Louie's trip to the States. But that is something that I do definitely want to vlog. So I'm going to be vlogging, I think, probably towards the end of this week. Um, I do know that we do have some showings that we are going to next weekend. So I'll be sure to kind of catch you guys up on how those go as well as kind of take you guys along on what I'm going to pack, how am I going to travel with a baby abroad, and yeah, just capture maybe a little bit of our travels before vlogging while in the States, which will be really, really fun. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. If you liked it, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you are not already, and I'll see you in the next one.